President Biden plans to campaign for California's Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom in his contentious recall election, the White House just announced. Newsom may have once thought the California recall election would be a non-issue given his landslide win in 2018 and given the fact that registered Democrats outnumber Republicans in California by five million. But with an uptick in homelessness and the wildfires and the drought and increased crime and increased cost of living and the pandemic, even some Democrats in California say they are frustrated with Newsom's leadership. And as CNN's Kyung La reports, that growing frustration within the Democratic Party could lead to Newsom losing his job as governor. How are you registered politically? I'm Democrat. A registered mm -hmm. Democrat. Lifelong Democrat. Yep. You'd think rejecting the recall of Democratic Governor Gavin Newsom would be a no-brainer for these three Los Angeles voters. But it's not. You know, I have to say I'm really leaning very heavily towards the recall. To recalling the governor. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm disappointed in the Democratic Party in general. Disappointed with the party in control with a supermajority of California state government. While problems grow. Wildfires, drought, crime, cost of living. But the worst for them? Homelessness which has expanded through the pandemic, now in neighborhoods across middle-class Los Angeles, including their own. It's like, let me work, let me pay my taxes, but provide me with safety and not be accosted by two homeless people within the matter of 15 minutes. Is this Governor Newsom's fault? I, I mean, technically, how can I even answer that? I, he's the leader. It's, it's, everything starts from the top mm -hmm. and it goes down. God bless you. And the best is yet to come. These women were part of the more than 60% of voters who resoundingly elected Newsom in 2018. In my mind, when he was running, there was nobody else in, in, in the world that would have been better. And instead, it's become politics. After an exhausting year of crisis after California crisis, the once popular governor now fights for his job. His battle cry? Vote no on this Republican-backed recall. Blaming Republicans. Everybody backing Trump and, and, and the Republican Party sees an opportunity. And reminding Democrats they outnumber Republicans two to one in the states. We turn out our base, we're going to win, unquestionably. It's not a persuasion campaign. People are locked in. But all politics is local, says Democratic strategist Michael Trujillo, who warns there are trouble signs for his party. Do you think they're nervous based on what you're seeing? I'm, I'm nervous, so they're definitely probably 100 times more nervous. Uh, homelessness is, I've never seen an issue like this so potent. Um, it's making progressive voters moderate because they're so upset. This is California. It's why you're seeing Republican challengers hammering Newsom on homelessness and cost of living. I was born here when the country was not nearly as affluent as it is right now, and now we have a homeless problem? Are you kidding me? How will it make you feel if a Republican is elected? Sick unwilling to vote for a Republican, but willing to risk sending a message to their party. Do you feel that Gavin Newsom is listening to you? <laughs> That's a good question. So that window of those women trying to figure out if they're going to vote yes or no on the recall, that window is closing because this election is underway. They're here in Los Angeles County. There are some 400 drop boxes spread out across the county. So by all intents and purposes, Jake, this is happening as we speak. The deadline is September 14th. That is officially election day, the last time they can vote in person. As far as when these disgruntled Democrats say they might vote, they might vote. They might send in the ballots or wait until the very end.